This video explains how to use product selection lines. Product selection lines are one of the many types of self-totaling items used to sell products and services. Use product selection lines to allow your customers to select items from a drop-down box with a product description and price predefined by you. Each product selection line may contain multiple products to choose from. If you, if you prefer to have only one product per line, in plain view, use product checkbox line instead. On this live form or preview form is an example of a product selection line. Choose gadgets. This, all these lines up here are examples of product free form lines. Large widget, medium widget are examples of product checkbox line. In this session, we're going to focus on product selection lines. So I'm going to select a gadget from this product selection line. As you see, once I make the selection, the total calculates. Now I'm going to change the quantity. As I change the quantity, the total reflects that change. Also, the subtotal reflects that change and the grand total. This particular form had a $9 shipping charge added in to the grand total. Next, I want to show you how to make changes to your product selections. For that, we'll have to go to the form editor. I already had a form editor session ready. For you, all you have to do is log in, click form editor, located under the my forms tab. First thing I would like to do is get rid of all of these product free form lines. Mouse over the product free form line and click delete. There's 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I also want to get rid of these column headings that were just for the product free form lines. Let's go. I also want to get rid of these product checkbox lines. Okay, now all I have left is my product selection lines. I want to add another product selection line so I can do one of two things. I can copy, which that creates another one. I can also add product selection lines by scrolling up, clicking add new items coming over to the self-totaling line, line section, click product selection, scroll back down to where I want to place it. I want to add it right after choose gadgets. Okay, now I can start entering my label. We'll call it widgets. We'll make three choices of widgets. Small. Medium. Large. And the, their corresponding prices in the box on the right, say $10. $10.50. And eleven dollars. Click add item, and there it is. The other two gadgets had a feature called label hidden, which is why their labels didn't show. So let's hide the label on this new one we just created as well. Click Label Hidden, click Apply. As you can see, they look pretty much the same. Don't forget to, don't forget to save changes. Thanks for listening.